the healing touch of Jesus. Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 to 3 When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 to 27 tells us about the miracles and teachings of Jesus. In these verses, Jesus heals a man with leprosy, shows compassion to a Roman centurion, calms a storm at sea, and casts out demons from two possessed men. Through these stories, we see that Jesus has authority over sickness, nature, and evil spirits. He offers healing and salvation to all who come to Him in faith. These accounts highlight Jesus' power and demonstrate His love for humanity. They serve as a reminder for us to trust in Jesus, seek His help, and believe in His ability to transform our lives. So today, I want to encourage you by reflecting on a powerful story from the Gospel of Matthew, specifically Matthew chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. This passage speaks of a beautiful encounter between Jesus and a man suffering from leprosy. Let us dive into this story together and draw inspiration from it for our own lives. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 1 to 3, we witness the scene unfold as Jesus descends from the mountainside, followed by a crowd of people. In their pursuit of hope, the man plagued by leprosy approaches Jesus, kneeling before him, expressing his despair and pleading, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. The man's faith is evident. He recognizes Jesus' power and acknowledges his ability to heal and restore. Now pay close attention to Jesus' response. Jesus, moved with great compassion, reaches out, touches the man, and says, I am willing, be clean. At that very moment, the leprosy leaves the man, and he is instantly restored to health. Can you imagine the overwhelming joy and relief that the man must have felt at that moment? The burden he carried for so long was miraculously lifted. It was an extraordinary display of God's mercy and love in action. Reflecting on this story, we can draw several encouraging lessons. Firstly, we see that Jesus is willing to help us no matter what challenges we face. Just like the man with leprosy, we can approach him with our burdens and fears. It doesn't matter how difficult our circumstances may seem, Jesus is ready and willing to extend his hand of grace and bring restoration into our lives. Secondly, the man's act of faith serves as a profound example for us all. Despite knowing the intensity of his suffering, he trusted Jesus wholeheartedly. He believed that Jesus had the power to heal him. Similarly, we must cultivate a faith that firmly rests upon the goodness and faithfulness of our Lord. Even in the midst of our darkest moments, let us hold on to the assurance that Jesus is our ultimate source of healing, hope, and transformation. Furthermore, Jesus' compassionate response reveals His character and love for humanity. In a world filled with pain and brokenness, Jesus shows us the true nature of God. He is not distant, detached, or indifferent to our struggles. Instead, He is intimately concerned with our well-being and desires to bring restoration to our lives. We can take comfort in knowing that we serve a God who is filled with compassion and wants to bring healing not only to our physical bodies but to our hearts, minds, and souls as well. Just as Jesus reached out to the man with leprosy, He stands ready to offer His healing touch to you today. 
Have faith in His willingness to restore you, for His compassion knows no bounds. May the story from Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 to 3 inspire you to approach Jesus with unwavering trust, knowing that He is capable of transforming your life completely. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, grant us the strength to approach you with unwavering faith, just like the leper who sought your healing touch. Help us recognize our need for your mercy and compassion, just as the leper humbly acknowledged his own unworthiness. May we always seek your cleansing, restoration, and renewed purpose in our lives. Amen.